Okay, that my video, you know, what happened to this tape? Okay, but let me go back to that. You have to be both firm and kind. Okay, you know, and they can they can live in the same home together, the same house. It's teachable to be firm and kind at the same time. Firmness refers to your follow through of their behavior. Did you do what I asked you to do? Or was so-and-so, so-and-so done after you were asked to do blah, 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 blah? Kindness refers to the manner in which you present the choice. You understand what I'm saying? Um, talk less, act more. I think that'll sum it up better. Talk less. And act more. Allow them to be in control of their behavior. The natural consequence for what they choose to do always works better than you being in control because you need to feel like you got to boss somebody around. I had to learn that the hard way. Okay? Because I didn't understand the difference. I didn't. Now, I'm just being honest. When you do things for children that they can do for themselves, you are robbing them of their self-respect and their responsibility. And let me say that again. When you do things for children that they can do for themselves, you are robbing them of their responsibility and their self-respect. How many of us do that? How many of you all out there do that? That's, a, that's some, a behavior I engage in anymore. But they, at one time I did. Uh, long, 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 long time ago. As Bertie Mac said. Differences between punishment and logical consequences. Let me give you a, a, a few scenarios. Punishment expresses the power of personal authority. Ah, I'm a police officer. I'm the warden in this. And I, <laughs> Logical consequences express the impersonal reality of the social order. Okay? Punishment is rarely related to misbehavior. Logical consequences are uh, 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 directly related to the misbehavior. Think about it. Punishment tells the child that he or she is bad. You don't want to do that because they little feelings get too hurt. You know, and sometimes if I see I've hurt my little grandbaby's feelings, I have to come to her and correct her. I say, look, I know I hurt your feelings. And I want to acknowledge that I did that. However, you were given a choice to do X, Y, Z, and you chose. Okay, so. Those are the things you, I mean, take your time and go through life with these little beings. They ain't going to be little that long. Before you know it, they're going to rise up and you had wish you had had these conversations and the opportunity to relate to them in these, in this fashion. Punishment tells the child that he or she is bad. Again, logical consequences imply no element of moral judgment. Punishment focuses on what is past. Logical consequences are concerned with present and future behavior. Check that out now, because that's real important. Real important. Punishment is, didn't you do that at school? La, 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 and you did X, Y, Z, and you're not. Okay, that happened in the past, and we know it did. Okay. So, as I bring that up, one time, I'm on to what's logical about this situation. And that's, we already know what you did. So moving forward, this is what's going to happen, has to happen, needs to happen, will happen. Because of your own doing, by the way.
uh, punishment is kind of like um, received as a threat. Um, either open or conceal. Log, uh, you know, cons logical consequences kind of like are related uh, to. Um, I mean, they're based on goodwill, basically, on not on retaliation, but of goodwill. And if you sit with that, you'll know the difference. You're not trying to threaten this person open or, cause, you know, and if you don't, blah, 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 blah. And a lot of times, um, punishment demands, well, most times, punishment demands obedience. Logical consequence permits a choice. If you choose to do that, that's fine. There's going to be consequences behind this. Now, a lot of people can't get with that at all. And that's, I think, why we lose it. As a group, as a race, our children are brilliant, but they're emotionally damaged. And they are being raised by children that have not ever had any logical consequences um, for their behavior. And mostly just been beat. And most of the things they found out were on the fly. Um, we got to, and I think we have to do better. We just have to do better as if we want to bring into new, new, new behaviors, breed new behaviors into our children, into our generations. Um, avoid fights because they indicate a lack of respect for the other person. Do not give in. That indicates a lack of respect for yourself. You understand what I'm saying? Listen to that again. Avoid fights because they indicate a lack of respect for the other person. Do not give in. That indicates lack of respect for yourself. Provide choices and accept the child's decision, which is kind of hard for us to do. You know, we want to control it. You have to allow them to make those choices sometimes, good or bad. I mean, I'm not telling you to allow your child to stick a, a hanger inside the socket, for Christ's sake. <laughs> I mean, but sometimes if you don't want to eat his vegetables or um, he just want to put these socks on and you know they don't match. <laughs> or you understand what I'm trying to say give him the power or her the power to make those choices about their life I'm telling you going to bring in some very confident new brilliant uh, 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 children that you know they're going to reach the highest heights that they possibly can ever reach because of the foundation that you started them on and that shit is important y'all it is so important. Um, let's see. Use a friendly tone of voice that communicates your child. Uh, 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 no, what am I trying to say? Use a good, friendly voice. You know, don't cuss your kid out and be silent. Or you might be mad sometimes. And if you are, just don't even say nothing to him right now because you're too angry to talk. It just can't even happen right now. Um, we're going to slip. I don't expect you to be perfect. But just start trying a different way to doing some things. Use a friendly tone of voice that communicates your goodwill. As you follow through with the consequence, assure the child that they might they may try again later. But right now, this has to happen. But, you know, it, it, when you follow through, but if you want to try this again later, we'll, we'll see what happens. Okay, I'm not going to be like the warden. If the misbehavior is repeated, extend the time that the child, that, that must elapse before the child tries again. Okay, so if you do it again, give them time to do it and they end up doing the same thing again. Okay, and you stop the behavior. Well, the next time the consequence is just going to be longer. That's all. That's all. 
is required. Not for you to kick them all up uh, behind and you stupid little F -F and blah blah. Oh man, I've heard people. Young people talk to their kids so bad that it's made me cringe. I've had to say things, hoping I don't get beat, hoping I'm, but I gotta stand on it. Cause those are my children as well. We are all connected. I can't allow you to do that, baby, like that in my presence. And I'm not gonna disrespect you because I know that you, his mother. And a lot of times you don't understand that the baby comes through you. It's not you. And it's not your possession. It's your gift. Not your possession. And sometimes I have to remind you. And lastly, y'all, let me just say this. You know, be patient. It's going to take time for natural and logical consequences to be effective. And be patient with yourself as you try this new way of consequenting and, um, we, uh, you know, retrying a different way of dis of of discipline or um having consequences for behaviors. Like I said, this definitely works with children, and believe it or not, it works with adults as well, because a lot of the adults that are out here having a relationships and long have been stopped at some age. That's very childish anyway. I hate to say. And sometimes you have to resort back there to be effective in your relationships. It is what it is. So with that being said, <laughs> I'd like for y'all just examine that and let me know what you think about that. Please let me know if you think it's bullshit. Let me know if you think there's any truth to the principles of natural and logical consequences. Okay, so with that being said, like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and share, y'all. Thank you, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.